I'm Daniel and today we're going to be relining this old Champion Forge. We're going to be relining it with a homemade mix that I got from Valhalla Ironworks. He did a post on it a few years ago. I've been using the recipe for fire bricks, but it's going to be more suited to this. We have slightly changed some stuff and I will put the mix down in the description. We will fire uh, we will coat this, give it some time to set up, and during the firing we will go ahead and make a forged hook out of it. And after we forge it, we'll go ahead and use the post drill I recently redone to drill a hole so it will be no power tools whatsoever. But before we do that, I want to thank our video sponsor TZ Audio. They sent the microphone I am using currently. It is the Stella X3. I've used it for the last few months and I've been extremely pleased with it. The quality is nice. And even when the background is noisy like it is currently, the audio is high enough quality. I can also use some sound suppression software to make my voice stand out and to push all that unwanted audio in the background. The material we're using for this is going to be perlite. Vermiculite, and some type of play sand, which I have back here in a big bag, and Portland cement. The Portland cement's in a 100 pound bag. I wasn't moving it, so I just went ahead and put its parts in here. So, bow volume, the original recipe was calling for 774 and then two for the cement. I like adding about an extra half a part to the cement just to give it a little extra binding strength. You can play with the recipe yourself, adjust it for what you need, but this is what I've done and it seems to be working perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and get these parts added. We're just using a standard measuring cup. Now we have And finally the So now that we have everything added, we're going to add just enough water to turn it into a thick paste. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water in there and start mixing and see what it looks like. We have this about where we want it. It's a thick mixture. So we're gonna go ahead and place it inside the forge. We're gonna go ahead and start placing this mixture in the forge and putting it where we want it. Let's go ahead and spread this. We do want to be careful and keep it out of our holes here. So we're just gonna spread it up to it and just be mindful of where they're at. We can always poke it out later if we need to, but I'd rather not do that. Don't be fixated on it being perfect because at some point you'll have to replace this anyway, but make it look at least presentable.
here we have the co-forge set up and we have a piece of rebar in it to make our hook. We're just gonna go ahead and use the blower to keep this coal charcoal nice and hot to heat up our piece of steel. Okay, our piece of rebar has heated up here. So let's go ahead and start forming the end of our hook. Here is the final hook. It turned out pretty good. It's gonna be used for around the shop. So I didn't care to spend the extra time to make it look amazing, but it still looks good. This was done with just hand tools, post drill, of course, forge hammer and uh, turning wrench and the vise. Make sure to check out the video sponsor TZ Audio. I'll have a link in the video description. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will have more forging videos coming up in the future and I'll see you all in the next video. I do want to make a note of you should not be using a gas or a charcoal forge somewhere where you don't have good ventilation. You don't want to build up of gases that can be very deadly. And if you start feeling lightheaded, make sure to shut everything down and get somewhere with fresh air.